This is a sponsored video but I'm only getting paid to showcase the product, all the opinions about it, they are mine entirely. Ratatouille, Ratatouille, a very good movie, a decent dish, maybe I didn't cook it right but it was okay. The pedal is very good and it's a distortion pedal based on a rat but the circuit is not based on a rat, it's just sonically inspired by a rat. I talked to Roman, the guy behind Schnobel tone and he said that he didn't use an existing circuit when he designed this. Everything is original. But indeed it does sound like a rat. I haven't done any A-B testing here but it sounds like that type of distortion. Maybe that is because of the filter knob. So if he did a regular tone knob my approach and my mind to the whole concept would be different and I would say that this reminds me of a different type of pedal. I don't know. Uh, the filter thing is quite unique with rat style pedals. So maybe that's the only connection it has to a rat style pedal, the filter. I don't really think that but it's, it's interesting how you approach things differently because of stuff you see and not stuff you are hearing. That being said I think I prefer like the filter approach on overdrive pedals. 
I'm kind of surprised to why we don't see that more often. I sort of feel that it's more intuitive when you are shaping your tone to find like the sweet spot between too much treble and a very balanced sound. So I like that. There's a lot of gain on tap on this pedal, more than I have used for, but of course it can be there and I can choose not to use it. And I really like how it looks. It's simple looking. I have been using the Daily Driver from Schnobel Tone for a long time. That pedal has been on my pedal board since I got it. And it's the similar style, kind of similar to the Pete Cornish pedals that I know I've at least seen Roman with those pedals on his channel. Very simplistic uh, look and that is something that I like. Is there anything negative to point out? Uh, well, it's not exactly cheap. I think I saw 269 USD on the Schnobel Tone website. Not necessarily uncommon for boutique style drive pedals these days. But I would say that I still think it is worth it. It's a well-balanced distortion where you can really dial in some lower gain tones uh, in here as well, which is important to me. But of course, uh, it's up there. If you are on a tight budget, you would either have to get something cheaper or you would really have to commit into getting this pedal by selling something else and really save up some money and go for the more expensive option. Yeah. I think often people feel more connected to an item when they have spent more money on it and they had to work harder to get it, but that's a different... Uh, discussion. It's pricey, but it's good. Yeah. YouTube is good at recommending a video that is suited uh, well for you. It's probably right here. Check that one out, please. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.